let me ask you a question here. Is 29601 divisible by 11? What do I mean by this? So I need to find whether this number is divisible by 11 or not. How do I find that? That is, how do I find whether a number is divisible by another number or not? Over here, I need to divide this number 29601 by 11 and I need to check what is the remainder that I am getting. If the remainder is 0, it means that this number is divisible by 11. But if the remainder is not 0, it means that this number is not divisible or not perfectly divisible by 11. But in order to find that, I need to do this huge division. I need to divide this 5 digit number by 11. So let me tell you a trick for this. We have something called the divisibility rule of 11. It helps us to find whether a number is divisible by 11 or not very quickly. So let us see what the rule is. It says find the sum of digits in the odd places and the sum of digits in the even places and subtract them. If the result is 0 or a multiple of 11, then the original number is divisible by 11. So what do we mean by this? Look at the first part. Find the sum of digits in the odd places. So this is first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. I need to find the sum of digits in the odd places. That is this, this and this. And then I need to find the sum of digits in the even places which are this 9 and 0 and I need to subtract them. So whatever sum I am getting, I need to subtract the two sums. If the result that is the answer after subtraction is either 0 or some other number divisible by 11, then the original number is divisible by 11, otherwise not. So over here, what are the digits in the odd places? So first I have 2, then I need to leave 9. So I need to take one digit, leave the other. Take one digit, leave the other. So I need to take the alternate digits. So I leave 9, then I take 6, I leave 0 and then I take 1. And I need to find this sum. So these 3 are the digits in the odd places. I need to add them. 2 plus 6 plus 1, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. So this is the sum of the digits in the odd places. Now what are the digits in the even places? 9 and 0. So sum of the digits in the even places is 9 plus 0 which is equal to 9. So sum of the even places digits is 9. Now I need to subtract these two. So both are 9 and 9 minus 9 gives me 0 and the divisibility rule says that if this sum minus this sum that is this is equal to 0 then the number is divisible by 11. So this number is divisible by 11. So you see how easily we can find this huge number is divisible by 11 using the divisibility rule of 11. So let us try one more sum. Is 99999 divisible by 11? So we have 5 nines here. So is this number made up of 5 nines divisible by 11 or not? So this is first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. I have 9 in all the places. Now some of the digits in the odd places is this 9 plus this 9 plus this 9. So 3 9's. So sum of odd places digits is 9 plus 9 plus 9 which is 27. And what is the sum of even places digits? The second digit which is 9 
and the fourth digit which is 9 again so 9 plus 9 sum of even places digits is 9 plus 9 9 plus 9 is 18 now I have got the sum of digits in odd places and I have got the sum of digits in even places I need to subtract these two so I'll subtract the smaller number from the bigger number so I have to do 27 minus 18 so 27 minus 18 is 9 now what was the divisibility rule this difference that is this result of 27 minus 18 should be either 0 so this is not 0 or divisible by 11 is 9 divisible by 11 no 9 is not divisible by 11 so this number is not divisible by 11 so 99999 is not divisible by 11 so this five digit number is not divisible by 11 now can you find this on your own is 310827 divisible by 11 so this is the first place second place third place fourth place fifth place sixth place what are the digits in the odd places i have three plus i leave one and i take zero then i leave eight and i take two so i start with the first digit leave the second take third leave the fourth and take fifth so i have three plus zero plus two three plus zero is three and three plus two is five so sum of the odd places digits is five what will be the sum of even places digits start with the second digit which is one leave the third place take the fourth place eight leave the fifth place and take the sixth place which is seven so sum of even places digits is one plus eight plus seven one plus eight is nine nine plus seven is sixteen so this is what i have now what do i need to do i have sum of odd places digits and sum of even places digits what do i do with them i need to subtract track them i always subtract a smaller number from a bigger number so i subtract 5 from 16 that is 16 minus 5 this is what i need to do 16 minus 5 is 11 now what was the divisibility rule of 11 this number should be either 0 it is not 0 or divisible by 11 so is 11 divisible by 11 yes 11 is divisible by 11 so i can say that even this number is divisible by 11 so 310827 is divisible by 11 so this is how easily we can find whether a number is divisible by 11 or not even without dividing the number you simply need to find the sum of digits in odd places and the sum of digits in even places and subtract them if the difference is either 0 or divisible by 11 then the original number is divisible by 11 otherwise not so take up different numbers and find out whether they are divisible by 11 or not not by using division but by using the divisibility rule of 11 if you like this video then subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. 
You can also win exciting prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.